everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a DIY project on my kitchen which I think is probably a stupid idea to be honest. I really really don't like the colour of my kitchen and it's dark and it's horrible and I just I want to change it however I am pretty bad at starting DIY projects and not finishing them and I'm pretty bad at just generally cocking them up so yeah <laughs> and the previous owners i think had a bit of a thing for red and black because they had red and black everything so we've still got the red blinds that they had in here a year and a half ago when we moved in <laughs> and yeah we've got these horrible covers but we can't really afford to replace the whole kitchen so i've been looking online i've been looking on pinterest and i've decided to paint the cupboards so my plan is going to be to get rid of that horrible red blind because i do not like red at all um paint these cupboards in a gray color and then i'm going to change these handles i'm not sure yet whether i'm going to um spray them with like a rose gold spray paint or whether i'm just going to buy some new ones altogether um but i think they're quite inexpensive to replace and hang on i actually do have quite a few don't i <laughs> okay maybe i'll maybe i'll spray them i went for the i keep calling it 3v3 but i think it's actually v33 um b and q renovation cupboard and cabinet paint in loft gray satin they do do an even lighter one than this but then i thought that would probably be too light so this was kind of in between gray so i went with this one and i'm hoping it's not going to be too dark little problem in that it says uh preparation of the surface is essential wash the surface with a soda based or sugar soap alkaline cleaner but i don't have a sugar soap um so i've decided <laughs> To just go with um, elbow grease because I think that's the whole point is that it needs to be degreased and demarked and these are a bit gross <laughs> I don't know what that is there but that looks greasy whatever that is so um, I'm hoping elbow grease is gonna work because I can't be bothered to go and find some sugar soap and then to apply it I've just got a tatty old minky which I probably should have used a cleaner cloth than this but um, <laughs> This will do. This is what it looks like from the living room, so I'm going to have to paint all down the sides of here as well, which I think would look better grey in the living room than it um, does as like a dark wood. So I've gone for this tiny little spongy roller because I think that it will probably go on better than a paintbrush. Okay, here goes. The roller is in the paint. Let's do this. They're going back now. Okay, so it's not going on quite as easy as I thought because um, it's kind of bubbling as I'm and kind of separating as I'm putting it on and I don't know if I'm really supposed to sand it down beforehand or maybe it's because I didn't use sugar soap or I don't know but it's not going on very easily. I'm hoping that it might just need a couple of layers and that it will be fine but the colour so far seems okay. I don't know if you can see what I mean but here like it's kind of bubbling away. So I keep rolling it back on and then it still keeps separating and I think it's just because the surface is just so smooth because of the type of um, wood that it is. Honestly, I shouldn't be allowed to do DIY. Definitely not this type of large project anyway. Damo, are you doubting my decision? <laughs> Come and have a look. Come and see what you think so far. What do you think of the colour? You're taking a long time to answer. You don't like it? I don't know. Oh, did you imagine no, it I, darker? Or? I, I'm still seeing too much of the old colour and it's kind of... Warm. You see, yeah. I'm going to see it all as one thing. I think it'll be alright once it's dry. I think it'll dry a little bit darker than what it is. Yeah, that's the thing. Because I, I, it's almost like I can still see the brown coming through. Oh yeah, you can. I think it's, it's going to need another coat, definitely. Yeah. You can still see loads of brown there but yeah it keeps separating like this 
Okay, so I was questioning myself and why it wasn't sticking, so I decided to quickly pop to Tesco's. I've got myself some sugar soap and a sanding block and some fine sandpaper. So I'm going to very, very lightly sand it and hope that it adheres better. However, now I've got back the first coat that I did is dry already, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it seems to be looking okay and there's no bobbly bits, so I think it probably would have been fine, but just to be on the safe side, because I did read the pot and the pot does say uh, you need to lightly sand it, so I didn't read that. <laughs> off the cupboards I didn't think about how I was then gonna get in the cupboard afterwards <laughs> now I'm trying to get a cup out so I can make myself a brew and I just can't okay so it is the next day now and I am finally making a little bit of progress so I'll show you what I've got to so far so last night I managed to paint pretty much all of the cupboards actually no what do I mean pretty much I did paint all of the cupboards <laughs> So all of the cupboards are now painted and I think it looks really good. I just need to paint um, under here as you can see. I need to touch up some bits up here and then I also need to do all of these bits around the edge because I wasn't sure whether to keep them wood but Damien said he reckoned that they definitely would look better um, painted. So I painted this one just to see and I do think it probably would look better like that. So I have left all of the handles off from when I painted last night and now I'm going to spray paint these handles with this copper finish um, spray that I've got which is for metal masonry plastic and wood I'm hoping that it dries quickly because hard dry in 24 hours okay that doesn't dry quickly but it doesn't really matter <laughs> but yeah, at least I can uh, spray them and get that um, started I was going to replace all of the handles with copper handles that I bought online but then I forgot how many handles I actually had and this handle doesn't come off as you can see I've got paint on it I'm gonna have to try and somehow scrape that off um, these handles do not come off because um, it's in the fridge so you can't actually get to the screws behind um, and then that handle doesn't come off because the um, the screw is all bent and yeah <laughs> so yeah it's looking good so far I think it's looking a lot brighter than what it was and I've also picked up a new blind which I'm gonna pop in today as well I was gonna spray paint these handles outside um, for better ventilation but it's getting dark so I've decided to come into the toilet <laughs> So I've just laid them all out on a sheet on the floor and I'm hoping that I'm not going to gas myself to death in here. I've put the fan on up there, <laughs> if you can see. I've put the fan on up there, it's really loud actually. So I'm hoping with this as well, I should be able to protect myself. Oh. I've just put the blind up but I didn't film it because it was just too much of a stress. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a meltdown, but it's up. It doesn't look very level, like it's a bit too far across on that side and that side, but it will do. It'll do. What do you think, Harry? What do you think of Mummy's new blind? Nice. Is it nice? <laughs> okay, so this is the finished result. So starting from the very back, this is what it looks like over here. I think it's brightened my living room up loads because obviously we have the kitchen in the living room and what I have done is I have spray painted the handles. I don't know if I showed you me doing that. I filmed this a little while ago so maybe. Um, but yeah I spray painted all of the handles gold. I am however missing a handle here only because I've lost a screw so I'm just in the process of trying to find a screw that fits. And one little touch which um, I'm a little bit annoyed I haven't finished but I ran out of paint and basically this handle wouldn't unscrew so I had to get a sponge, spray paint the sponge and then kind of dab on the paint which made it kind of go everywhere and I was meant to paint over it but ran out of paint before I could so that looks a bit tatty but other than that I am really really pleased with it. I think everything else looks really really modern and has completely transformed the kitchen really compared to what it looked like before when it was really dark wood.
So one other little addition that I made to the kitchen is these battery powered lights, um, which I actually got from uh, Lidl. Is it either Lidl or Aldi? I think it may have been Aldi actually. They require six AAA batteries each and I find that they are quite bright, although I have had these in for two weeks now. I think they are slowly starting to dim a little bit because I didn't have very good quality batteries. But when you put new batteries in, they do come out really, really bright. So um, for the price that they were, which I think was about £10, uh, I think £10 for three, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think they're too bad because I really couldn't be bothered to wire in lighting. I just thought it would be too much of an effort. So. These do the job. Um, I did accidentally pick up one that was a different um, type to this one, but it does the job and you can't really tell unless you're looking underneath the counter. <laughs> Okay, so that is the kitchen finished, finally, <laughs> after about, it's probably taken me like a month to just do the little tiny bits, but I'm really bad when I start a DIY project, I kind of start it and then don't finish it for weeks and then it just annoys me and then I can't be bothered to get it done. So yeah, other than a couple of handles that need um, painting around, I have pretty much finished the whole kitchen. Um, I did kind of want to top up the paint on the walls because it's kind of magnolia and I don't really like it um, but I think that that's something that we'll do um, eventually so yeah hope you like this video and I hope it has inspired you to do your kitchen on a budget I honestly I'm so pleased with it I think it looks really really professional considering um, we had no real money to spend on our kitchen I was like I'm just gonna wing it I'm just gonna paint the cupboards my mum said I was insane Damien said I was insane but I winged it and I think it paid off I've even had two friends around who have both said, have you got a new kitchen? So yeah, that's really, really good. So, and they both said it looked really professional. So really, really happy with the result. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.